Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh hello, hi, welcome. If you are new, my name's Victoria and today's video is going to be a Poundland haul, December. And I don't think I've got like Christmas stuff as in decorations. I've got a few like little Christmas filling stockers. Christmas filling stockers, stocking fillers. I thought that didn't sound right. Um, but I don't think I've got decorations. Um, I'm sure you have something else to say, but I can't think. So, so if you're not subscribed, then please subscribe because it costs nothing to you, but it means the world to me. And without further ado, what am I doing? Why am I doing all this? I'm not sure. By the way, this is my jumper from Primark. I think it was £10. Not sure if I'll still have them in. But anyway, without further ado, let's jump in. <laughs> So first, I'll just show you this cool little doormat just because my cats have actually taken a fancy to it because it's literally been on the floor waiting for me to film this, which is quite funny because it's got cats on, but my cats literally love sitting on it. They're doing that, do you know when the cats do that? Maybe not. They've been doing that on it, so it must feel good. But anyway, this is just for my back door um, because if you, if you remember, if you watched it, my front door has the Christmas one of these on, which was also from the pound shop, which I just think is amazing. Like, Merry Christmas for a pound. Swipe your feet on. Yes, please. So this one is from a back door. That's my entire Poundland shopping haul bag on the floor. I'm just gonna cuddle it now so we have no more fallings. So anyway, um, enough said about this. It's a pound. It's excellent for wiping crap off your feet. And it's a pound. So I'll jump in to these. Also, if you watch my videos, you'll know these are what I buy for my children. Um, it is the banana conditioner and banana shampoo. My kids absolutely love these. Um, I was just about to say the pound each, but obviously, or not obviously, because it's not all a pound now. But these are a pound each. Um, this has obviously got new, new packaging sticker in um it normally looks like this but it's changed to this now but i'm sure it's exactly the same product so banana shampoo and conditioner to me it smells like that medicine like penicillin is it and i think it's disgusting and i've never washed my hair in it and i never will wash my hair in it but my kids love it if it makes my kids go in the shower and wash the hair i will buy it till i die then i've got these little beauties so obviously the ferrero rochers Normally you get like four, if you're wanting to go for the cheaper, smaller pack, you get like a little four pack like this for a pound. But this time they had two, four, six, eight for two pounds. Obviously it's the same price, but it just makes it a bit more special rather than just getting a little four pack. Um, I did get these to put in people's stockings, you know, just like a random one scattered in a stocking or maybe a Christmas Eve box, who knows. They were two pound. Get the big box out of the way, it's also a bit boring, but just baker's dog biscuits. My dog loves bakers, probably because they're not that cheap. All these aren't too bad. So it was actually the price it says on the box, which was £2.49. Just rich in beef, complete dog food. That's all there is to say about that. It is normally a bit more expensive at like Asda, Morrison's, stuff like that. So I didn't mind paying £2.50. And he likes his bakers. I've got two packs of Lotus Biscoff Biscuits. Lotus Biscoff Biscuits. Um, one for someone's Christmas Eve box because they're a bit too old to have. Oh, it's hard to explain, but you'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll be doing a Christmas Day or Christmas Eve vlog or something like that. The younger ones have got something more younger in it. And my older one, who's, my boy who's 15, loves the Lotus Biscoff, so he's literally got a full pack of these to go in. But I've got two. One, because everyone enjoys it in the South, so it'll just go in biscuit cupboard. And that's Christmas Eve. I'm whispering because it's Friday and he's upstairs and he's finished school. Oh, I was so excited to find this. Oh my God, you saw right up my nose there and we how I angled it. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, God, you're going to see everywhere. I don't even know how to angle this. There. So it's basically, I'm going to hold it like this so you don't see up noses and, oh, I'll look my ceiling. <laughs> um, but it's basically just a mirror to put your candles on. You could have like a little candle arrangement, um, a centerpiece. You could have your vase on it. Lots of cool stuff. In fact, 
If I'd have had more space in my hands, because my like my basket was full, um, I'd have got a few more of these, but I was a bit scared buying one with it being quite fragile. It's really thin, but I'm super pleased with that. I just wish I'd have got a few more. And that was a pound. I'm not gonna throw that one. I did get two of these, but my cats were desperate for a box of them. So I normally buy, well, so, a little story. My cats are literally so fussy. In fact, this house is so fussy. If I buy, like, own Asda's beans or whatever, my kids are like, I'm not eating them. They're not Heinz. I'm like, really? Are you even my kids? Because I love a bargain. Anyway, my cats at the same. My dog's the same with bakers. My cats at the same with whiskers. So I've bought Asda's cat biscuits, filled it, filled the bowl thing right up to the top. I oh, didn't touch it, did they? And they followed me round until I bought them some whiskers. So anyone else's cat like that, please let me know if so, because if not, I must have just spoiled mine. But I have no choice because they turn the nose up at Aldi's own, Asda's own, and then they just don't eat. They literally don't eat. Anyway, so this was a pound, which is good for whiskers, but at the same time, it's like my new tiny little dollhouse box. <laughs> Literally, it's a tiny dollhouse box. But I thought if I mix it in with Asda's, then they might eat it, but probably not because they are fussy, let me tell you. But I don't mind paying a pound, even if it is a smaller box like this. So you get 340 grams in that. And it's literally just chicken tasty filled pockets, cat food pockets. This is for someone else for the Christmas Eve box or the stocking. I'm not sure yet. Um, Thorntons. I love that the pound shops actually got Thorntons things in because Thorntons you'd think is just from Thorntons, not pound shop. Do you know what I mean? But this is Thorntons wafer rolls, and this person loves wafer rolls. Um, I don't think they've had Thorntons before. Just You can normally buy them like a tin. I just normally get them. But, but I thought, do you know what? For a quid, let's actually just try these ones. I'm sure they taste better than just a tinned one anyway. Just a tin one anyway. Double chocolate too. Mm. So they'll be going away. Um, This is also a little stocking filler. I don't know why I'm whispering because she's not here. But she's still at school. So it is Softy Floss. I've no idea what Softy Floss is. But it says, slow motion, fun, watch me flow, shake me. So we're shaking. Um, yeah, so I don't really know what it, what it is or what it does. But Lydia's obsessed with stuff like this. You know, almost like sensory things, like squishy, like obviously slime, because they went slime, squishy stuff, like clay, all stuff like that. So I thought this could be something for her. She has a little TikTok going on about all this. So I thought it would be good for her to like TikTok it all. But anyway, I don't know if we've got two of them um, with this one, actually. So it's obviously a squidgy snowman. And just this like, oh yeah, there we go. Hey, party and go on snowman. So that was just a pound and just like a little stocking filler again for her to do on a little squidgy TikTok or whatever it is, what she's got going on. Actually, it's quite addictive. Okay, stop it, that's your daughter's. Got Doritos. Um, now these are for my boy. These are also for his Christmas Eve box because, so you know like what I've just shown you, the squidgy things, that's what we've got for the children's Christmas Eve box. But for the older one, like I say, I've got them Lotus Biscuits, the wafers, um, and these Doritos because, you know, when you're 15, last thing you want is a, a squidgy or a DVD, do you know what I mean? We don't even have a DVD player. Does anyone? So anyway, I've just got him these. They were a pound, and they're his absolute favourite all-time crisps. Now, these are also for Christmas Eve boxes. These look amazing. I just wish I'd have bought myself some, to be honest, because look at these. So I've got two Mars ones. So the Mars ones that look like this. Oh, God. Like literally a pack of Mars cookies. It says soft baked double chocolate and caramel cookies. Mm -mm. How many do you get? Don't say, so that's excellent. You just get 162 grams of, of cookies. And then these are caramel scented Twix ones, which also sound delicious. And I wish I'd have just got some anyway. Oh my God. I hope they give me one. If they don't give me one of these, I'll literally be fuming because these look and sound amazing. 
Um, and they were a pound each, which I thought were actually a really good bargain. Like Morrison's and all that, they would not be a pound. Then I've got these glow sticks. So normally we do like the reindeer food and all that on Christmas Eve. But I've actually had a cheeky mouse coming into the house. Oh, a cheeky mouse coming into the house. Um, this is a whole other story. I've had pest control come out and it's literally been a nightmare and I've been distraught over all this. But, so, so where I'm getting to here is that I don't want to sprinkle porridge oats, which is what reindeer food is. The last thing I need is porridge food in my garden. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's like saying, come in for Christmas dinner, love, it's fine. So instead, to let Santa know where we are, because we haven't got reindeer food, we've got glow sticks. So they'll all get a few of these put in the Christmas Eve boxes and then we can light them up and maybe hang them outside, do something fun with them. And you get, oh wow, you get 20 and they were a pound. So that's good for 20 actually. I'm pleased with that one. I mean, if it if kids are happy, then I might just do it every year anyway, because it's not like clever really throwing porridge oats in your garden, is it? If you think about it, you know. Well, giant pack of batteries. I didn't realise it was this long because there's nothing worse than Christmas Day opening your presents and not having no batteries. And kids are like, oh my God, it's amazing, but it won't turn on. And then like, you know, Grandma Betty goes looking for batteries and no one's got any. And then you're like, well, guess what? We won't be in that situation. Not with all these. <laughs> How many do you get? So you get 30, these were two pound as well. They weren't a pound, but I mean, what do you expect for 30 batteries, love? Do you know what I'm saying? So we're kitted out for batteries. Unless it's AAA, then we're buggered. And now the cookies are crushed. I've got this Zoosh. Oh, Zazoosh. Zazoosh. <laughs> um, carpet sofa foam. So basically the rug, my lounge rug is black. It should be dark grey. It's black. And that is from having a border collie dog. So I am going to try and get it clean before Christmas. Um, but then I thought if I get it clean before, just to keep up with all the dog stains and things, like mucky paw prints and all that. I'll just try this. If anyone's tried it, let me know if it's any good because I need help. I've got a border collie and that's all I can say about that. But it does sound really good. It says it deep cleans high traffic areas. It stains and spills vanish, softens and revives carpet fibers. Carpets last longer, blah, 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 blah. And you can do it on your surf as well, it says. So I need a pound for that giant one. Let's give it a whirl while I've got a few more things to show you and see if it comes up clean in the meantime. Ready? <gasps> Whoa, that flies out far. Okay, I'm pointing it close to the surfer. Right, it's got approximately three minutes to show me if it comes up clean or not. Oh, my wall's gonna be clean now anyway. Right. They, oh God, I feel like I'm just spoiling the oldest here, but I promise you the youngest have got just as much. I'm very conscious about spending the same amount on every child, because I wouldn't want one thinking why have they... No, my dog seems to like it as well. Ah, uh -uh. it's to keep it clean where you've been, not for you to eat. Sure, it's not good for you. So, as I was saying, they've all had the same spent on them, but with them being older, I've got them different stuff. But I've just got this to throw in as well, at Starbucks, Starbucks. Frappuccino. I mean, to be fair, me and him love these anyway. I normally stock up on them in my, like I've got a drinks fridge. I normally stock up on these in my drinks fridge anyway because we love a nice cold frappuccino. So that'll go well. I'm not gonna throw it. Oh, we're gonna chicken down. Well, by the way, little update. My rug just looks wet, not clean. Um, just got some bin bags. I always get the ones with the handles on. Um, do you know, like it's got, um, Pull, a little pull, I don't know, a strap going round top. So when you lift it out, you can literally pull it tight and whatever. Um, you do get a lot less in a pack. You normally get like 50 or 100 or something, I don't know. But these ones you get 20 in um, for a pound. But I don't mind paying because it's just so much easier having them with handles on. I got this bag, Ovs. And then, why is it loose? Oh, has it broken? Wait a minute, guys. Oh my God, I'm gonna blow up. No, we're good, we're good. So then, I've got this Fabulosa. Oh, 
Ooh, that smells good because I've not had this one before, this particular one. I've had these like sprays before because I'm obsessed with them, but I've not had this smell and this one is, oh, it's nice, but it is precious gold. Gold, always believe in your soul. So I don't know what gold smells like other than nice. Yeah, smells good. And that's all I can say about that. But that were a pound. I love all these fabulous, as you know. These also do the carpet foams, but um, their carpet foams, I feel like, don't clean. They're just to smell nice. Well, it don't clean mine anyway. Maybe mine's just past cleaning, even though it's like four month old. I might just need to pin it. Because the update now is that it's just wet. It's not clean, it's just wet. Anyway, guys. That is the end of my Poundland haul. Just think, the next Poundland hauls are going to be like January 2021. Oh, dear Lord. I can't even believe what's happened. Anyway, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching this. If you like it, please do like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.